God, I say these things about my parents. I don't mean, my mum and dad have done a very good job on the whole, you know. Like, I think there's some stuff that my mum's brought me up with that everyone in this nation is brought up with. The closest we get to kind of British values, if you will. I think that everyone in this country, right, has been brought up to have a respect, all right, an obsession, nay, an adoration in this nation for free shit, all right? <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a newspaper, magazine, bowl of sweets, cup of tea or coffee, glass of red or white wine, samples in a supermarket, bread before a meal, little shot of alcohol in duty free. If we don't have to pay for it, we will f***ing have it. <laughs> we are a nation whose entire healthcare system is built on the solid foundations of being able to convince people into giving us pints and pints of their blood with the allure of a free custard cream. <laughs> and I, for one, am proud to live in such a nation. Woe betide, for example, woe betide. Any boss in this country that thinks it is a good idea to put his credit card behind the bar at an office Christmas drinks. <laughs> I tempt once for this American dude, he did just this. Oh, I pity the fool. <laughs> In America, that shit might work. You put the car behind the bar at the office drinks, people would be like, hey, have you heard? Tyler has gone and put his credit card behind the bar. <laughs> what a swell thing of Tyler to do. <laughs> Think we need to make sure that we buy him a pretty big round later. Leave a very substantial tip, and then drink responsibly within our means. <laughs> Not in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> in Britain, it becomes like a challenge to see how much it is physically possible to consume before that becomes a pay bar. You see people having pet talks, cheating each other up. Have you heard? That put his credit card behind the bar. We're gonna drink so much free alcohol that Tyler has to sell one of his fucking kidneys. <laughs> this mentality we have though, this mentality we have of just taking for the sake of it just because it's free is not something that has been passed across to our European brethren, right? Our more rational, logically minded German cousins, for example, do not think in this same way. Germans are too logical to just take <laughs> for the sake of it. Historically a bit snatchy, but not so much now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to have one joke for your father. Anyway, no. <laughs> I found this out though, because recently, for the first time ever, I traveled on a German airline, okay? Lufthansa Deutsche Air. They were amazing. Best airline I've ever flown with. I need to quickly tell you about their pilot before I get on the story, because he was amazing. Best pilot I've ever had. I'm a very nervous flyer. We were going through this little pocket of turbulence. Instantly, he comes on the PA system. He's like, please do not be alarmed! <laughs> he literally <laughs> myself. <laughs> Instantly put at ease by the sheer confidence of his next statement, the most confident thing I've ever heard. He was like, We are experiencing some turbulence problems, but do not worry, I will find solution to the weather. <laughs> wow, this guy's good. <laughs> Compare that to the shit you used on budget airlines. I was on a budget airline once. Let's call them Riarna. <laughs> No, it could be any airline. We are an air. I'm on we are an air. Don't have to redo it. Uh, on unknown air and Ryanair. I was on Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> on Ryanair. Uh, we are an air, okay? I was on we are an air. And I, I got on. We were on the runway for about three hours. Everyone getting a little bit nervous, okay? Again, pilot comes on. He's like, hello, ladies and gentlemen. He was, you know, kind of Irish Indian. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Fucking full on Indian there, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, ladies and gentlemen. Shut up. <laughs> I'm 
your pardon, Paddy. Oh, Chowdhury. <laughs> You're going to kill the engine and then reboot it again. You're switching it off and then switching it back on again. <laughs> it's a play, not a PlayStation. You're the pilot, just make some shit up. What happens if that doesn't work? Oh, I'm going to try blowing on it. <laughs> we got there in the end. That is the worst joke I've ever told.